Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. We are doing some organization and purging and decluttering today, and I am thrilled. Today's Thursday. We're not going to the gym today. We're resting today. I went to the gym the last couple days. I'm sore. You girl, just I just want to recover, but we're going to be doing a lot around the house today. So it's actually 8.30. I'm doing this new thing, if you saw the last vlog, where I want to... Not every day, but I want to try to do really quick makeup just to feel more, ha, ah, like I'm ready for the day. <laughs> but in like, no, maybe one or two vlogs ago, I did a little Sephora haul and I got the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This makeup literally took five minutes and it kind of, you can kind of tell it's not like, it's not great makeup, but like it just feels like enough without being like full glam. I didn't do much powder. It's very glowy. Um, I don't know. I can't decide if I like it. <laughs> Like, should I just take five more minutes and do my full base? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm wearing pink. We're in the Valentine's Day mood. This is that anthro sweatshirt that I'm in love with and have three of. I have a problem. Look at, I got my cute little heart hair clip in for Valentine's Day. It's literally January, but we're in the Valentine's Day mood. So yeah, Yar's currently working out. I am just easing into the morning, trying to drink uh, a bunch of water, and I'm actually, I'm feeling like a real breakfast today. I've been having my green smoothie every morning, but I'm feeling like breakfast, and I have some perfectly ripe avocados, so I think I'm going to whip up some avocado toast. On the agenda today, like I said, I really, I think I'm going to focus primarily on kitchen declutter today. I feel like with the new year, it's so exciting to do kind of like a refresh and purging things you didn't use over the last year. Um, so we'll, we'll bring stuff to um, savers and donate things. I mean, honestly, a lot of it's gonna be like food purging today, going through and cleaning out the fridge. We don't have a lot of like excess food, but like I wanna take everything out, give it a deep clean. It gets, you know how gross it gets. <laughs> and I also wanna do that in the pantry because like I haven't done a deep clean of the pantry since we had the pantry installed. So like taking things out, wiping things down, I wanna go through all of the um, food in there, take out anything expired, anything we haven't eaten, but I don't think there's gonna be a lot of food waste today, so that's good, but mostly cleaning, cleaning and organizing. And also when we got the pantry installed last year, it was very much like giving um, organization <laughs> with all of the containers and labels and like, as much as I love that, for some things I just, I either didn't keep up with it or I find it more of a nuisance and I'm just not, like, I'm just not keeping up with it. So some of the <laughs> containers and labels will definitely refresh and get back in the groove, but some of them I think I'm gonna nix and just use regular food packaging. Like, I'm kind of past the point of needing my pantry to be super aesthetic. <laughs> I want it to like look organized, but I don't need it to be like no original containers, no original packaging. Like I just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but I'm going to make some avocado toast and then we'll get caffeinated and medicated. Okay. I just whipped up my avocado toast. It was the perfectly ripe avocado and then red pepper flakes and some hot honey. Oh, the best. Oh, and side note, this is bomb. This is really good. This had five stars on the Whole Foods app. The Follow Your Heart uh, Ranch, it's vegan, no cholesterol, no preservatives, egg-free, dairy-free, plant-based, made with solar power. That's cool. And it's funny, the first ingredient is the veganaise, <laughs> which is the stuff that um, I bought. Uh, Omega-3s, I don't know. It tastes pretty darn good because like I'm a big ranch girl, so finding a good dairy-free ranch was huge. I also did not realize even buffalo sauce has dairy. Everything has dairy, so I've had to do a lot of swaps, but this one was really good. Primal Kitchen, this is a great dairy-free buffalo. Really simple ingredients. Uh, no dairy, keto, paleo, vegan, whole 30. So yeah, if you see dairy in here, it's either yars or I'm kind of just keeping it to see how this experiment goes. But yeah, let's start taking everything out, getting things nice and clean. Yeah. What's the worst case scenario? Plan out of your head how it's all gonna go. So you think you got it covered. But there's always something new that you discover you've not. I can't get this shit to stop weaving. You want, you want him to not be? Yeah, I hit the door. Lady, door alarm right here. Oh, <laughs> thank you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why? Thought about, you can never figure out. Every pass 
possible outcome and you're so scared you'll get it wrong have a good time but don't worry after petrified will they think i'm awkward when your brain's wired for disaster even good things leave a bitter taste try to calm down fast spin them faster terrified hide it with laughter when your brain's wired for disaster even good things leave a bitter taste even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste, yeah. Even good things leave a bit of taste. Something unexpected happens, you can't let it go. Caught up in your own distractions, you already know that you're gonna think about this for a while. Why you try not to lose your mind? All right, you guys, the fridge took me 40 minutes because I've listened <clears throat> to 40 minutes of a podcast, but it feels so good to have it deep cleaned. The side doors where like ketchup and dressing and stuff goes, they always get so gross because it's saucy. So it looks so clean. So I took all these out and washed them with soap and water. Um, I could have done that with these trays too, but they were not that bad. So I just did spray. Oh, so clean so fresh and i cleaned inside of these drawers as well so oh so much better and i also cleaned in here as well because bruno's dog food can get this very like crummy and i also cleaned out the freezer and now we're gonna work on the pantry which is a hot mess so i have all this like stuff in here we've got baking goods sweet snacks which is literally, I don't even know, I don't even know what's in half of these. Salad stuff, dinner stuff, dry food, dressings, and then all of this is not up to date. So I need to go through it. Um, guys, this is so gross. This cereal is so old. <laughs> We've got Magic Spoon. This is Yar's new cereal. These random things that I bought during Christmas are old and need to get tossed um baking stuff up there here's our excess drink stuff i bought more <laughs> i bought more core power before i decided to do the dairy free so yar will drink that so i can put those up here alcohol paper towels um i need to go through just everything this is like baking stuff and then inside these cabinets we've got like seasonings and back a back stock of tea like i don't even know all of this stuff is so old like christmas candy just so much to you know give away or throw away got like breakfast bars popcorn nuts crackers i don't even know what's up there i see alcohol <laughs> so yeah we need to organize in here we've got you know our little bins of stuff the fridge is always rough because it's like you know a little more dirty this is going to be more organizey but i'm really excited because coming into the pantry lately has like given me anxiety <laughs> it's just a hot mess <laughs> dream last night did everything i never do in real life i stepped into a room told everyone to be quiet because i had something to say blew everybody away wear whatever i want dressed in a gown everybody's like why are you going nowhere special just going to the store i think i'd have it all tell you why i be more picking a plate being a plate she is on a rule never seen her like this one eternity later all right you guys i didn't end up recording the rest because it was re it's really tight in here and it was hard to film this corner like i could not find a spot to put the camera but oh my gosh is this so much better so these are my little wall arts in here super cute little chickens <laughs> this was full of stuff oh my gosh 
so much better. And then I ended up moving some stuff around over here and kind of purging some of our containers because some stuff we use regularly. Like all this we use regularly when I make our pancakes. I use the chocolate chips when I use panko. We need refill on our pasta. Oats we use, brown rice, and then jasmine rice. Um, and then I moved up. These were all the way down here. And like I don't reach for these regularly because I don't bake that often. So I moved those down, moved up the stuff I reached for more, like dinner stuff, salad stuff, dry food. Um, and then like the baking goods and dressing stuff is down there because I don't reach for that often. So tried to do things a little bit more cohesively and like productively. Cleaned out the old cereal, put Yar's new cereal here. We have an extra one that I washed. So much stuff is gonna go to Savers or Goodwill from here, but I'm gonna wash it all first. Um, restocked all the drink stuff a lot of it was sitting here cleaned out a lot of this stuff that had either expired or we just weren't going to use it wasn't that much excess uh, a few expired items here um there's the tea got rid of an extra shelf that was there because i was able to condense a little bit organized in here a lot more separated like the dairy free stuff from the dairy stuff that Yar will have. We have so much excess of this. Maybe I'll see if my friends want this for their uh, kids. We have that too. That's like our sweet stuff. Like we've had a lot of it for a while. We don't eat a ton of snacks anymore, but you know, just to have in the house. Um, if we want something back stock up there, back stock of spices, of tea. Um, and then here is granola. Like I had a granola glass jar and it's like, then you can't see when it expires. It's a whole thing to have to like print out, you know, labels of when does it expire, etc. So just keeping like stuff we use more frequently here so I know it'll go before it expires. So yes, and then I spread out the alcohol up there, excess paper towels up here. I'm so happy that they fit. I moved our Ninja Creamy in here because we don't use it like super often. So it made some space in the kitchen and yeah. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And I wiped down all of these um, as I was cleaning them out and organizing them as well. So, so excited. Oh, it just feels such a relief. I did drop one glass in the process, but overall it wasn't too bad. So yeah, I moved the Ninja Creamy, which was right there. So I moved the utensils to this side of the stove because I feel like I will use them. Like I reach over there, like they were all the way over there before and like it'd be so much easier to grab them while I'm cooking because this is my favorite stove top. So I don't know, I think it looks still pretty good. So all of these are gonna get donated. I'm going to wash all of them and bring them later. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, it is much later. It is 3.20. I've just been doing work on the computer. I am going to whip up one of our favorite desserts that I haven't made in forever. The little chocolate covered dates with peanut butter and almonds. And you put them in the freezer, they taste very similar to Snickers, but honestly, in my opinion, even better. I got some non-dairy chocolate chips. So I already took out the pits of the dates and open them up so like you just put a little bit of a little bit of peanut butter some chopped almonds close it up wrap it in chocolate and then freeze them and it is so good so i'm so excited so let's make them these are all the dates i have left so i'm just gonna make this many morning you guys it is the next day happy friday you won't be watching on friday but for me it's friday today i am headed out to the gym shortly but i'm so excited uh, i got some of the valentine's day drop from that same company i bought like really cute christmas sweaters from so she did a valentine's day drop i was so excited so i just bought two of the items because i like could not resist okay so first and foremost look i love oversized t-shirt with like leggings and uggs this is so cute i got the 
size. I got a 4X. I thought I got a 3X. Maybe I got the 4X. I don't know. Maybe I wanted it to be more oversized, but look how cute. It's got like a bow with cherries, and I'm pretty sure this says boys drool or something. <laughs> look how cute. Oh my god, I am so in love with this. And I would obviously wear this outside of Valentine's Day season as well, which is also why I grabbed these two things. And this, <laughs> this spoke to me. Dun, 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 dun. I love being Delulu. Cause you know what? Delulu is the Salulu for 2024. Cause it's called manifesting. Believe, just believe it's already yours, right? I have a love-hate relationship with manifesting. Because like in my life, sometimes I feel like when I like give up on things or stop thinking about things, that's when they happen. <laughs> but what you know, with manifesting, it's very much like you have to really think about it a lot, believe it's yours. But then I find myself just like getting disappointed. But then things end up happening for me when I like let them go. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, I do love a little being Delulu moment. Um, so how cute is this? Uh, I love this. I think this is <laughs> so freaking cute. So those are the two things I grabbed. This is a, a 3X. So I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, this only goes up to a 3X. This is not like a classic stretchy sweatshirt material. If you end up wanting it to be more oversized, you can like wet it and stretch it um, a little bit. But just know this is not like a classic oversized fit. This fits very much non-stretchy, like relaxed fit, not oversized fit. So, cause like I have other sweatshirts in a 3X that are like so much bigger. So just a little FYI, but I love the co Comfort Colors um, t-shirts. These run oversized. Well, I mean, you can buy them oversized, but um, like this is a lot more of an oversized fit versus the sweatshirt, you know, cause you can like stretch this. You can't really stretch that unless it's wet, but oh, so cute. I'll link both of these items. I think they are so, so cute. And again, not just for Valentine's day. So yeah, it's Friday, it's total body day. I'm deciding if I wanna go to the gym or work out here. Cause my workout I can technically do at home today. But like part of me feels like going to the gym I kind of just feel like being at the gym. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll check back in with you guys later, but today is day four currently of going dairy-free for two weeks. Um, I haven't had any new pimples pop up. I don't know if it's purely coincidence or not. You just never really know. It's also like not my time of the month. So I don't know, nothing new as of yet, but uh, so far so good. So far so good. I already had my green smoothie, took my Symbiotica, my probiotics, vitamins etc so we're ready for the day all right you guys i'm back from the gym and i have a package from alani and i think this is a new flavor so i'm really excited to see what it is okay it's a new flavor oh my god guys cherry twist it's cherry lime i love cherry lime anything. I've been feeling like I have a hair on my nose for like days and I don't know why. Okay, I'm so excited to try this flavor. Um, I've been having like half of one of the big ones or drinking the small ones, but I'm really excited to try that flavor. And they also sent the pre-workout. I don't really use pre-workout. I just usually have a little bit of the energy drink. This was sitting outside, so I am I'm gonna do a taste test right now. I'm not gonna drink the whole thing, I'll just put it in the fridge. But look at how cute! The packaging is stunning. Let's see, I just have to try a sip of this right now. Oh, that's perfection. That's coming in right under Witch's Brew because Witch's Brew has my heart, like it's the best Alani flavor. Oh my God, mm. okay, I'll save this for tomorrow in the fridge. I don't mind if it gets a little flat. Mm. That's so so good okay also you guys i am not ashamed to tell you that i bought another one of the clip-in hair extensions in a longer version because you guys co-signed the ponytail i'm saying everyone co-signed the ponytail if you missed it in the previous vlog or two whatever it was um i got this amazon clip-in hair ponytail I'm gonna wear this one today because we're going on date night tonight and I have dirty hair anyway and I don't feel like washing it. So 
I have the longer one. So I'm really excited. And this one's a little bit more like wavy. The other one was curly. And this one has like a wave to it. I really like how this one looks. <gasps> Guys, I'm not even kidding. This is like so cheap. It's under $20. Because I was looking at like legit ponytail extensions and they're like over a hundred, sometimes $200. Ooh, I like the way this one looks better. It's more like crimpy. The, dude, this one's gonna look good, I think. Um, but this is the same color as the last one I got, the dark blonde with highlights. And the highlights are a little bit more inconspicuous on this one. The other one was a little more like in your face, platinum. This is cute. Ooh, okay. I'm very excited about this. So yeah, we're gonna get ready for date night um, early on today. Cause like, why not? We'll probably go out right when he finishes work at five cause he's working from home today. Um, but we're gonna go out to dinner and go to the movies. So like I had said, I'm really trying to stick with all the intentions that we've made for this year. We have been eating so many more whole foods. I've been getting my greens in every day, hitting my fruit and veggie goal every day, um, meditating, journaling, and we've been doing like intentional date nights. And the new thing that we're doing is where one of us plans the date night, like we take turns planning it every other week. Um, I don't know if I'll vlog date night per se, but I'll vlog getting ready and trying on our new, this looks good you guys. I really, I like, I do, I really like the crimpiness of this versus like the curls of the other one. Okay, I'm stoked. That one sip of Alani is sending me to the moon. All right you guys, I just did my makeup for today. Nothing, nothing exciting. So let's style the ponytail. So I've learned that these only look good with like kind of a medium to high ponytail. So we've got our pony in and then I'm going to bobby pin the parts underneath that are too short. Oh, I do miss being able to do a high ponytail. I don't know where I'm at with my hair right now, you guys, growing or cutting. I don't know. It's growing really fast though. Okay, here she is in all of her glory. So you literally just clip it over the ponytail. It's kind of wild how easy it is. <laughs> Maybe this one's a little too tall because it does add some height after you put it in. Oh my God, I just love it. Why am I, why am I like this? This one's got even more volume than the last one. Like, come on. I think I like this one better. I'm telling you, the color match on this is so good. It just looks like I have like a big, a big uh, wavy ponytail. Okay, yeah, this one, I like this one even better. One thing I'll say about it is this one's a little bit heavier just cause it is longer. So I wouldn't wear it like for an all day thing, but you can comfortably wear it for like at least a few hours. You guys. I love it. I think it looks so good. I'll link it again. So many colors. <gasps> Why does this make me so happy? <laughs> it's totally okay if you don't like it. I love it. I think it looks so good. And it's nice and long. Okay, you guys, that's the tea. And here's my little Valentine's Day shirt. It is adorable. But I'm gonna just like be on the computer the most of today. And I'm gonna edit this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.